that, that's not the sensible thing to do. That's not, so that's not a good one. But hey, man, if you can put someone up for a couple of nights who needs it, if you can give someone a ride who's hitchhiking, if you can afford to pay for a meal for someone at the table next to you, do it. Jump off the deep end. And what, the other piece of advice I would say is do it in your comfort zone to start off with. Don't don't look. You know, the stuff that we do involves armies of people and, and tons worth of stuff. Don't think, wow, that's a lot. I can't do that. Right. Or some of your heroes might be religious characters who do amazing healings and things. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Start with what you can do. And if what you can do is buy someone a cup of coffee, if what you can do is give someone a dollar, if what you can do is, you know, is look someone in the eye and say, good morning, I hope you have a good day, and smile and get a smile back, do that. And remember how that feels and, and take that on board and try to grow that. And if you do that, the small things will develop into bigger things and it will become a way of life. I can see that. And David, I think this is such an important message. I mean, really, what you're saying is just be observant. I mean, there are people that need the kindness. You know, it's it, it, and you don't need to force your preconceived ideas of what they need on them. You just need to be observant of what they do need. Absolutely. And, 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 and I, 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 observant goes two ways as well. Be observant of how it makes you feel. Mm. When, when you actually hit the mark and you make another human being happy and you know that you've done something that they really value, the feeling inside you is oh, it's special. Remember mm. that feeling. Work on developing that feeling. Mm. And the only way that that feeling gets developed is by, by looking around you and seeing what's going on. So, you know, a, a lot of people sit in, sit in their bedrooms and their living rooms and their homes and come up with the perfect idea mm. and then try to shove it down everyone else's mm. throat. Mm. I don't think that's pretty cool, man. And we all know that that's not pretty cool either. There's something of the cult to that. So yeah. I would never be so presumptuous as to tell people how to be kind. You're a human being. You know full well how to be kind. Just focus mm. on it a bit more. Mm. And, and just let that part of you expand into your reality. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and it's a two-way street as well. Like, let people be kind to you as well. You know, often I, I, I watch and, you know, I see people find it very difficult to let kindness in. Some of the kindest people I know find it very difficult to accept the kindness mm. back. And that's equally a mistake. And that's an unkind thing. If you want to do something kind for me and I don't let you do that, that's an unkindness. So let, let other people treat you to dinner. Let other people fill your tank with petrol if they're so inclined. But just mm. make sure that when it's your turn that you do it too. David, where can people follow along on your progress as you guys are doing some of this, these cool events and inspiring people to bring more kindness into their life? There are two main places on the internet. One is Twitter, and we're called Kind Defensive. I'm um, at Kind Defensive on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And the other one is probably YouTube. Um, we put up a video on there maybe every two, three months. We do an event, and there's a video on there. And anyone listening, if you just go to thekindnessoffensive.com, which is really easy to find, just Google it, and there's loads of stuff there, you'll find newspaper articles and videos of the news and all kinds of bits and pieces have been gathered. We're not, we're not an incredibly technical group, so we've done our best gather it together so it's interesting and so yeah have a look on there there's a, there's a tab you can press a volunteering tab which is a way of communicating with us and by the way we are open to ideas we would love to hear the crazy kind ideas that you have or you know if you know someone who needs something like recently we were contacted by a lady on behalf of another lady who had a problem with her tooth. She had mercury filling mm -hmm. and she needed certain kind of medication and it wasn't a medication that's covered by our national health service here. So we, we called up the different companies and we, we got them to send that medication. Mm -hmm. And that was just off one person sending an email on behalf of another human being say, could you guys help out? So we would love to hear from you guys and then the stories that you have of, of being kind and all the rest of it because we're looking for inspiration everywhere we go. So if you could send us some, that'd be great. And, and David, you know, I, I think you're building such an important platform. Have you also encouraged people to send in videos of the kindness offensives that are going on in, in their parts of the world? Because that would be, you know, that expands the army. We, we haven't yet, but let's start that right now. I like okay? that. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. That's, you see you already. I'm asking for inspiration and you're getting it to me. I got away. it. I see, I, you ask, I deliver. Yeah. That's <laughs> I, I, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, we welcome we, we welcome that. And so consider this the beginning of an appeal. If you can get a video footage of yourself doing something nice or a picture of you with somebody and, and the story to go with it, send it to us. We'll find a place to pop it up and then share it with the world and inspire some more people. That's a brilliant idea. Let it be known that the kindness offensive that is going global started right here today at the Full Potential Show. Absolutely, absolutely. David, no, I'm serious though. I really do want to join you guys on this and if we can encourage people to, to get involved because I think 
there is that not only a hunger for a win, but that hunger for that feeling that you said that we need to nurture in our hearts. If Absolutely. we can, if we can bring that home and make it real for people around the world, we really are. You know, we the the power to change the consciousness of, of society is here in this thought. What you're talking oh, about yeah. here, it's amazing. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think the, the 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 potential of society is there. We have all the resources that we need. We have all the awesome people that we need, and it's a weird situation because we've got a situation now where I think the majority of people are looking at the situation, saying, "Hey, this isn't right." All we need to do is tinker around the edges, and this could be very very, very different. So absolutely, I, 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 you know, everyone's welcome to join the kind of offensive. We're kind of like a group for people who don't like groups, though. So feel free to do it on your own as well, and, and tell us about it. That, that's more than welcome. Or not to. tell you about it. Just do it, and then not tell okay. because yeah, absolutely, they're absolutely. they're really wanting to fly solo. <laughs> you know, we, we enjoy being part of a group. It's good fun for us, and we get a lot done. But I, I'm very wary because I, I'm apart from this group, I'm not really a member of a group, and I know that there's a whole list of ideas that come attached with that. So I wouldn't want anyone listening to this to, to think, hey, part of the baggage of being kind is that I've got to put on a stupid hat and a silly jacket. And no, do whatever you like, but you're welcome to join in with our fun if you want. Well, David, this has been a great interview. Thank you so much for sharing this powerful idea of kindness and and giving very practical ways that people can apply this in their own lives. Starting today, I'm going to find ways to be more kind. And and I do want to wear the silly hat. I I think that's an important part of it. You are welcome. If you go on our website, you can download the smiley faces that we wear. It's kind of a take on the skull and crossbones. It's a, you know a bit of a joke. All our <laughs> has turned military stuff on its head, basically. <laughs> right. You know, Uncle Sam is our is our leader, but he's not. He's, he's Captain Kindness. He's wearing shades <laughs> and a green hat and stuff. But I'll tell you what, I'll take you up on that. I want to see a video of you doing something kind and pop with the, the with the hat. Like, Deal done. Oh, I will I, do I, that. I look forward to it. I really do. That sounds amazing. <laughs> well, David, thank you so much. Again, they can follow your progress on YouTube. Just the kindness offensive. You guys are everywhere. YouTube, Twitter, but yeah, like if you just type kindness offensive into Google, you'll see there's a load of places. Um, our website generally comes up the top of the search list. Uh, come find us. Say hello. Do something kind. Why not? What else are you going to do? You know what I mean? <laughs> David, I love what you guys are doing. Thank you so much for being on the show. You're really welcome. Thank you for having me. This wraps up the Full Potential Show. Be sure and subscribe to get more great episodes like this in the next episode. Thank you so much, David. David.